Great to be down here at the training ground with Will Nightingale and Nick Zanev, building up, of course, to a big game on Saturday against Bolton Wanderers at Plough Lane. Before that, though, I think we should talk about a few things off the pitch. I think the thing that really intrigued me the most, we're looking at Nick Zanev's sleeve there. Oh, yeah. We're looking <laughs> at the tattoo there, so come on, tell us about the origins of that. How's that going? Yeah, well, obviously, because I was born in New Zealand, and it means a lot to me being from New Zealand, so I thought I'd just get something that resembles that. And, yeah, I thought. I always wanted to get a tattoo as well, and my dad has one as well, so I wanted to just get the get a similar one. But obviously, my my own story and my my upbringing and all that. So yeah, has it got a bit of meaning behind it as well? Yeah, it's all quite personal stuff, but yeah, it's all just about passing down of knowledge and just where I'm born, where my family's journey as well, as well. So how long did it take? Eight hours. Really? Yeah, it was it was a long old time. Yeah, designed it for about two. Before. Yeah. It was about eight hours, yeah, so it was, I had to do it before before we came in because I can't be diving on this otherwise. <laughs> Spoke screaming. about it for a few years to be fair, yeah. kind of got up the courage yeah. to get over Are you thinking about it, Will? We should uh, send it back to Will. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, probably not to be fair. It's too good looking for any tattoos, isn't it? <laughs> as good as this, will it? So, yeah, nah. So, no. Got your own special little project at the moment. Seems a little bit rude to call it a special little project, but your daughter at the oh, moment yeah, yeah. takes up a project. Lot of time. And yeah, how's that coming along? Being a dad, how are you finding? Yeah, it? obviously it's a big life change. Um, just got to adapt, really. Um, like it's, just, it's just the best thing in the world, though. Like you, you just see little parts of yourself and your partner in there, and it's just it's surreal, really. Um, learning on the job, there's a lot of things that I'm probably not getting right. My missus would say, but no, nah, it's brilliant, mate. Like, trying to get stuck in, changing nappies and sleepless nights, but I wouldn't change it for the world. So you're sleeping at the moment, that's it. Okay, yeah, okay. For the odd time, I might have done that, yeah. yeah. Boys are giving me stick for that, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously last season, I think, just because of the pressures of where we were, I ended up probably staying at one of dad's more than me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's it's not, not, but the uh, missus has been brilliant. She's yeah. obviously like very hands-on, so... It's lucky to have two asses dipping in and out oh, whenever right. I want. He's still got that, that hardened exterior, isn't it? It's melted his heart a little bit, hasn't it, Tans? Yeah. But he's still... Yeah, still... yeah, he's still, as soon as we step out on that pitch, it's complete, complete game faces and we know we've know got a job to do. Yeah. I mean, you, you two together have been, what, four years you've been here now, Tans, yeah? You've yeah, become good, good mates. Yeah, it does, yeah. It? Yeah. yeah, four years now and I think we, we're really close. Obviously, we're rooming on away trips as yeah. well, so... Yeah. Yeah. I think that all, everything we do like helps out, like we go out for food and stuff, so I think that helps out with on the pitch stuff as well, so I think it just builds that relationship and makes it even stronger than it already is. Is it similar interest as well, Will, you know, in terms of what you do away from here? Uh, yeah, like Tans was saying, we just like going out for food really, um, we've got a few hot spots that we always go to, yeah. and like, yeah, like, we get on well off the pitch, so it's not like, it makes it nice coming into work because you enjoy it, obviously, being in a nice environment, being with your friends really. Um, so we've got that nice balance of knowing when to work and obviously having a laugh as well without taking liberties. Yeah. Tanks, what about this, this style of play? I mean, it's all starting from the back now. It starts from you, 11, 12 passes when we score a goal. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the, the goal just proves how, how we've changed in the way we play and the influence Rob has had on everyone. And, I think it's massive for me as well, playing sort of as a third centre back when we have two at the back, just to give options as well. It's always an out ball, so if we can't go forwards and we don't want to force it and potentially lose possession, we can always come back out, switch it. I think he's after my yeah. spot, you know. <laughs> 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 but that's it, that's more than just using your hands now, yeah? You've, got to, sort of, you've got to come out and be a part of it, yeah? Yeah, for sure, yeah. And also playing such a high line, it could potentially stop any like 1v1 situations if I'm quickly out onto the ball and then... It's also the trust as well from from Nighty and Ben that's massive. So yeah, whenever I mess up, he's yeah, there. Yeah, so that goes under, under the radar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the on the pitch. With, with you, Will. I mean, in terms of Robbo, I mean, you've worked with him for such a long time. Have yeah. you sort of like always been aware that this style of football would be coming? Was it still sort of like a lots of lots of pleasant surprises for you each day in training still? Um, yeah, I think the thing about Robbo is he's always got new ideas and he's always trying to expand his ideas as well. So it's never like it's never like you you're bored or you you're not stimulated. He's always trying to freshen the boys' minds up, trying to make us think outside the box. Yeah. Like I said, I've known him for a long time, so I've always looked up to him and like his theories and his thoughts about the game really. And I think I've tried to follow a lot of a lot of aspects that he believes in and. 
and I think we think quite similarly about the game. Um, so yeah, Robbo's brilliant, and everyone everyone speaks highly of him, and you can see that off the camera, on the camera. So good stuff. Tans, just to say as well, I mean, coming into this season, I mean, you start this time round as as the number one, the number one on your shirt. There, I mean, you've had to play second, you've had to play third <laughs> behind a lot of people in the past. Like, how does that feel actually like oh, going as the number one? The feeling is amazing. It's also just a sort of just the pressure lifted off my shoulders as well and I know week in week out that I'll be playing and sort of not having the oh do I have to worry about training every week having to like but obviously we're training hard all the time but also it just makes me more relaxed and then I can impose my game in training and also I think it's it's really really good that I'm I know I'm playing every week, so I have the mindset of have training and then game of the weekend. So having the number one shirt just means a lot to me, especially when we're I think, I think the biggest thing is just like confidence, really. And yes, obviously, I think that's sure. probably the, one of the biggest changes here. A lot of people mm -hmm. just feel more confident, and now you can see, like, obviously, how, how well Tans has done, yeah. just his confidence has just shone through with it. So, yeah. And also, you can express your like thoughts as well here, because I think in the past it's been quite you don't really want to say the wrong thing, you know. So, but now Robert uh, Gaffer, obviously he's he's open to any suggestions or opinions or anything, so we can work around things, and I think that that just boosts the team morale so much more. And the GK unit's always been a very tight group, you know, whoever's been in it, but I mean, when we've had Coxie here as well, I mean, he, he was really keeping you on your toes, wasn't mm -hmm. he? And now you've got Zaki here, he's a very ambitious keeper, he's keeping you on your toes yeah, as well. Yeah, for sure, I think it builds up through the younger, like the younger lads, Luca and Paige, they've come up and started training with us and they've been doing really, really well. And they're obviously pushing up through the up through the positions, so, yeah, I think the goalkeeper unit we have now is better as ever, so I yeah, look forward to continuing the work. That running you had into last season as well, because you had the tremendous high of the, I mean, the 97th minute penalty save. Yeah. You had your lows as well, but yeah, then when, would, when yeah. you went away mm -hmm. during the break, did you have time to kind of reflect upon it, and did you feel you come out of the whole experience stronger? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's um, especially after the Fleetwood mistake, it meant so much. I think the fans got around me really so much, and I think it just showed that even if I do make a mistake, if I'm being positive in everything I do, it just it just wouldn't matter, you know, and I think that I learned from that mistake and then it builds me as a character because that's the only way you're going to improve as a player is just by making mistakes and learning from them. So I think it was, yeah, that whole 16 games I played was like built me massively as a player. Well, you've noticed it in Tans as well, he's really grown into the position now, yeah? Yeah, for sure. I think you can just tell that it's just the maturity really um, and, and the trust that all of us have in him. Um, like, like he was saying, obviously how high how high we have our line, we know he's always going to be there to clear up anything there. So we're, we're all on the same wavelength really and things are looking good really. So, so listen, we've got to talk about Saturday. Let's, let's first of all talk about the occasion itself before we actually come to the match because I remember as I said, you know, I, I promise I won't dig the footage out again of us at goals 10 years ago. But in our... <laughs> Some dodgy hair. Uh, I know, yeah, 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 yeah that's just me. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but just the situation back then as well. I mean, in our hearts, you know, we'd, we'd, we were saying in interviews and so on the fact that, uh, you know, could we be one day at Plough Lane, you know, back in the Football League, you'd be a part of it. There's so many variables and things that could yeah. happen over the years. And Saturday, the first time in 30 years, we're going to be playing at Plough Lane, full house, yeah. in League One, and you're going to be a part of it. It's an incredible situation yeah, incredible. to happen. Yeah, I can't, can't believe it really. Sold out, aren't we, as well yeah. already, which is it's always going to happen. The amount of people that want to be there. But it's, it's for people like you, to be fair, people that have supported the club for as long as, as, long as you have. There's so many, yeah, so many fans like yourself who, not just behind, behind the doors that work with the club, but behind the scenes just going to all of the games at Selhurst Park and King's Meadow and following, yeah, following the club through thick and thin. So people like that, obviously we're, don't get me wrong, I feel massively honoured and, and privileged, but for me it's, it's about you guys really, so hopefully we can make it more enjoyable by getting the win. That's, to be fair, when I, when I go out, I just want to win every game of football. Yeah. So. 
that's what I'm there for. But still, uh, I mean, just at that time, all that time, a long time ago, you, you had Robbo, and Robbo said, well, I've got this young lad, Will Nightingale. Mm -hmm. let's, let's, you know, talk to him as well. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. for all those things to fall in place 10 yeah. years from now, it, it is mind-blowing. Yeah, it is, it's crazy to think, obviously, like, like when you put it like that, my own journey and the ups and downs I've had. Um, yeah, like obviously you, you get emotional when you walk out because um, you try and put yourself in, in the fans' shoes and how they feel. The amount of people's dreams, people that would give up to be where, where I am. Yeah, I'm very lucky, super lucky. Um, so hopefully grab the opportunity. And Robbo as well. I mean, the fact that, as I said, being back there at that time, yeah. and now here's Robbo, He'll be in charge of the side as well. Yeah, no, I couldn't have called it. You wouldn't have called it back then. Yeah. Yeah. Could have wrote it better either, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the most important thing is everyone in the position we're in now, it couldn't have been a much more perfect with so many fans being there, Robbo being the gaffer, everyone being involved, and the group of lads we have is just unreal. So, yeah, we'll be giving everything out there. I mean, Will's come through the academy, but how much does it now over the years, does it sort of resonate with you in terms of how Wimbledon's story? Oh, um, it's huge for me. Obviously, Dicky Guy. I spoke to saw Dicky Guy on the, uh, after the game Tuesday, oh, and he's a he's a massive part in the way I want to play as well. And I think the history of the club. I've learned more and more through the years I've been here, and I'm just so happy to be here. Just being being able to be a part of it, let alone play for the club, is yeah, it's amazing. We've got Bezo prowling around in the background because I know he yeah, wants to get in here for a meeting. So, I mean, that, that, that's it well, for you guys. Faces, <laughs> but, I mean, in terms of the actual situation, I mean, the occasion, yeah, it's going to be special for the supporters, but the pair of you now, the mindset for Saturday, you know, we've had a cracking start to the season. It, you've just got to kind of, in a way, you've got to kind of block that out, yeah, Tans? Yeah, I think so. We always got to take game by game, and we can't, we can't dwell on the past or even the future, too far in the future, I think, because we had a really good start. I think we've been very, very solid defensively. Like what I had one shot to deal with on Saturday, and then on the weekend, just the goal. So it just shows how shows how strong we are. Um, and I think we just got to, yeah, we just got to continue game by game. We can't get too high, can't get too low. Just take it, yeah, like I said, game by game. Yeah, push forward. Important for the fans, will. But I mean, I guess it's the old saying that it's you know, it's play the game, not the occasion for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I said, I want to go out and win every game of football. Your mindset's got to be the same. With that respect, but the squad's feeling good. Like it's such a good atmosphere. Honestly, you can't can't say it enough. Like even just with after games now, we've got a little song that we we get going if we get the win. Right. So and it's just yeah, it was going off after the podcast. So to be yeah. fair, you yeah. probably can't just repeat spray that. Spray bottles no. of water and all sorts like there were bottles yeah. of champagne. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like it's just, yeah, yeah it's just to enjoy good. the moment. Cause I think winning like you have to enjoy the moment because then but. Like, Obviously you want to win as much as you can, but you don't know when the next win's going to come. Obviously we want to win every week, but I think it's it's massive to enjoy the wins and because that just builds a team spirit, just adds to it, you know. So, yeah. Chaps, it's been really good catching up with the pair. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Thanks very much. Cheers. Yeah, Cheers. Pleasure. Cheers.